Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Out of the Park Baseball 24 with the Chicago Cubs and we are at opening day. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, we're, well, we're almost at opening day. We have a couple days till opening day. Um, we need to, um, trim the roster and go from there. And we are at 40. We have 20 pitchers on our roster. Um, one, two can go down. Ariel Gerardo. Do we, we picked up Pumpman to trade, right? We, yeah, we traded for him. I think to, I don't even remember at this point. It's been, been a, been a couple of days. Ah, gallon. Okay. That was to move gallons contract. That's fine. I got no problem. DFAing Mr. Gerardo. Uh, Ben Brown is injured. So we'll put him on the injured list. That gets us to 17. We still have to send four pitchers to the minors. Oof. And that's not a terrible thing. Uh, because money is going to be a problem at the end of the season. So it's it's possible that that some of these big reliever names on here aren't going to be here next year. Uh, we'll get more into that down the road. But Drew Gray, uh, he will we'll send Drew Gray down. He's not ready yet. Um, we should probably look at pitching ratings, not potential, huh? Um, Edwards is, can he still go down to the minors? Can, all right. I'd really like to send Mitch White down, but the reality is that he pitched really well last year. Um, can we send him down? No, he's got to be DFA'd. We still got to send two pitchers down. Foster Griffin. And we, again, we are going to, Win a lot of games on the back of our of our bullpen, I think. Valencia, I think is the last bet, last option. Although he was really, really good in spring training. Yep, Valencia. All right, so that gets us to thirteen pitchers. Five man rotation: Burns, Brash, So Contreras' movement dropped, which is a little uh, concerning. Um, because I sort of penciled him into that spot in the rotation, but I'll put him in the five spot and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and you can see Burns pitched really well during the, actually all of our pitchers pitched well during the preseason. Uh, we have 33, so we get it to 26. So we got to send seven players to the minors. We'll send down Aliendo. We'll send down Wilkin, who is developing. That home run power is up to a 60. Uh, somebody suggested, one of the comments suggested I move him to first base. So that's what we did. Um, he'll start the season at triple a, he'll give us a left-handed bat if we need it. Uh, but Aliendo Wilkin can go down. Uh, I think Shoemake can go away cause we've got Mikey. No, Mikey Romero has got to, got to start in triple a. Is that a trade? I, I, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I'm gonna have to look and see when I made some of these deals. Cause I think I made a couple of deals while you, while, while, uh, Go back where we're in March. Let's go back to February. No, let's go back to January. Yeah, I did. I made a couple of deals. I forgot about this, guys. I completely forgot about this. All right. So we traded Will Taylor, who was our former first round pick, uh, to the Red Sox, um, along with Daedric Kale for Mikey Romero. Now, um, Romero is a little bit more developed than Taylor is with the bat. Taylor's maybe a little bit better than Romero with the glove uh, and he's faster, but we have a lot of outfield potential already. So I felt we were good moving on from Will Taylor. Um, so you get, get Will Taylor, you draft him in the first round, pick up Mikey Romero, who looks like a really good second baseman. Uh, that could be a long-term solution for us at second base. Um, we'll see how Tim Anderson does, but uh, Mikey Romero could be that long-term solution. It allows us to really right to if if Swanson continues to get hurt, Anderson can slide to short. We can call up Mikey Romero and have a legit player at at uh, um, at uh, at second base. And then the other deal was moving Owen Cassie. Uh, it was just time. I mean, his his um, stats in Double A and Triple A, fantastic. I mean, fantastic and small sample size last year. He hit four home runs for us. And again, the ratings aren't bad. The ratings are not bad. They're above average against lefties and they're passable against righties. And he's, and he's a good right fielder. 
Um, we traded him and Melvin Amador to Baltimore, uh, getting Tommy White, a power hitting third baseman. Not great defensively, but he had 42 home runs a year ago in AAA. Uh, he's got 65 home run power against lefties. He's a legit power bat against lefties. And Max Wagner, 25 year old Max Wagner, uh, put up a 124 OPS plus at 35 home runs last year in AAA. So we get two players who I think are just as good with the bat as Cassie, giving up Cassie. So we made those. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys that. But Will Taylor, Owen Cassie go out. Mikey Romero, Tommy White, Max Wagner come in. So that's kind of where those were the kind of moves that we made. Uh, McKinstry, Abreu, Brennan can all go down. No, they can't. Does anybody want Will Brennan? Or can they all go down? Well, McKinstry, we can just DFA. I don't really care about Zach McKinstry. Uh, Mikey Romero will start in AAA. Um, does that leave us? We still got to send two down. Um, so it's going to be I mean, she makes re, I don't know, even he's not that good defensively anymore. The ratings have dropped. But if we send him down, who is our backup middle infielder for the time being? We don't really have one. So the question becomes, do we send down Foscu, who is a bit? I think we send down Foscu. Yeah, I think we're going to send down Justin Foscu. Oh, really? I don't want to send down White. I'd like him to stay up. I like the bat. I want to give him a shot. So Brennan and Oski, what kind of return can we get? And this will be the through June episode. Um, we'll play opening day and kind of do the things that we do. And then I'll sim ahead offline and then we'll come back and, you know, like we normally do. Yanni Hernandez. He's got a bat. The much better bat than Shoemake, but not as good a glove. I mean, that's a potential option, um, but not as good a glove. Let's bring in Freddie Peralta. We have listed as a closer. He's making 8.7 this year, 8.7 next. If they're willing to retain all of it, yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> just figure out ask, right? I mean, it can't hurt to ask. Uh, shop player. All right. Um, let's get prospects. I mean, I wouldn't mind bringing in Yanni Hernandez, but again, that doesn't do a ton for me. Uh, eh. Son. He was really good in my A's playthrough last year. I mean, he's a good defensive, good defensive player. I mean, he's as good as he's as good as um, Shoemake for. Can we give them Shoemake too? And maybe get more back. Um. And even if it's not a particularly good prospect. <laughs> okay, you can't have Von Necker. I'm sorry. You just can't. Max Williams can't hit. Can't trade for Max Williams. Uh, Brian Churio, he's good defensively. That bat's really bad. Gatto, I like the bat. We'll get to opening day, and we'll have to figure it out on opening day, right? We'll have to kind of pull the trigger here, so to speak, find a deal, because we are going to have to DFA both of those players. The reality is that Poisson is probably going to be have uh, have a higher upside than Shoemake while being just as good defensively. So it feels like a, a deal that we need to make either way. In fact, I would trade all three of those players for Poisson without really batting an eye. Save about four million bucks this year. Get 
<clears throat> I'm getting no way. All right. No, I don't want to add Von Necker. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Remove that. Remove that. Let's just submit it. It does mean that we are going to have to DFA. We are going to have to DFA. Are gonna have to DFA. Does that give us? I think it's just twenty five, right? Yeah, with the hope that uh, we can get Poisson back. And if and if they happen to, if they if all three happen to get taken, we'll call it Mikey Romero. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, so let's set our lineups uh, against lefty. Oh, and look who makes the major league roster, folks. One R.J. Mayer with his fifty fifty five potential. The bat is that of a fourth outfielder, but know what you're getting from RJ defensively. So he makes the team. Let's go. All right. So our leadoff hitter is still going to be Alex Bregman. Uh, our number two hitter is Tim Anderson. Uh, Anderson's ratings at second are up to a 60-65 now. That's very nice. Um, our number three hitter, does it stay? I think it stays Casey Schmidt, right? Uh, Acuna will bat fourth. Have many left-handed hitters on our team. That's I'm I'm okay with that. It's weird, but I'm okay with that. Um, is Wagner our DH? Wagner's will Bub Bubba Thompson sixth and right. Wagner will bat fifth in DH, and we'll go Crow Armstrong, and we go Swanson, and we go Romo. of a backup second base. Well, that's what we're hoping for Poisson, so we'll just sort of leave it as is for now. Uh, we will copy this lineup. I have a feeling we're going to mash lefties just based off this lineup. If you look at some of the ratings for some of our players against right against lefties, Tim Anderson rocking the 75 contact. Casey Schmidt's better against left, or is he? I think he might be better against righties. No, he's better against lefties. Cunha's better against lefties. Wagner's better against lefties. Yeah, we should rake lefties, but we'll see how it goes. He wants to start RJ every second game in center field. I love it. I love it, but no. I love it, but no. Uh, we'll start him every seventh game there, every eighth game there, every ninth game there. So he'll get a handful of starts. Same thing here. Every eighth game, every seventh game, every ninth game. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, so yeah, we've got our revenue per game is up. I bumped ticket prices last season. Our revenue per game is up. Uh, our payroll jumps up about $45 million next season. Um, one of the new features in Out of the Park 24 is that you can't offer those one-year fan interest deals in arbitration anymore unless you have the budget space. So if we want to be able to offer arbitration to... Players like Casey Schmidt, or not arbitration, but if we want to be able to offer him a contract and get the fan interest bump, we have to have the payroll to do so. So that could mean we make some changes when we get to the end of the season. You know, Ronald Acuna is due a $17 million team option, which frankly he would be worth, but um, he'll be hitting his age 30 season. And I think we have enough young talent to fill those roles with Romero, Corona, Wilkin, most of our really, really good minor leaguers are in the are in rookie ball. So there's still some still some time before these guys are ready to go. But Drew Burris could be up in a couple of years if the bat develops. Um I mean our outfield would just be ridiculous if he was out there. So um but those are decisions to make for future uh future uh, future Aaron, not not current Aaron. Uh, waiver wire. What do we got? We got all of our guys. Uh batting ratings. I have a feeling one or more of these guys is going to get picked. Um, and if that happens, then we'll uh, uh, we'll adjust. We will adjust. I kind of would like to bring in Poisson, I guess. You know, especially if it means we can move some of those contracts. Raffaella's with the A's in this playthrough. Interesting. And he didn't develop all that well. I mean, he put up really good numbers in, in AAA, but a decent enough bat. He's not an infielder, though. He's listed as a second baseman, but 
not with 45 range. Uh, he's not. Back to back 320 home run seasons for him in uh, AAA, though. Um, don't really think we need to do anything offensively. Let's look at pitchers. This is one of the ways we built our pitching staff, right? You find good players in, uh, in on the waiver wire and make it happen. Jordan Hicks. What's he making? 1.4. 1.54. Take him from the Braves. Well, there's not really anybody here that like if there was a twenty five year old, twenty six year old, I might take a run, but man, I'm not really seeing anything. It's time to play opening day. Let's look at the preseason predictions. They have us going 90 and 72, finishing second in the National League Central behind the dreaded Cincinnati Reds. Uh, set up to score the one, two, four, fifth most runs in the Amer in the National League with 737. Give up the second, third fewest. Okay, I'd be down for that. Got Corbin Burns on the list here. Offensively, we have nobody. Oof. All right, Tamar. All right, let's get to it. So we have the Cardinals on opening day. So let's go ahead and play the game, and then I will sim April and part of May, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to send out Bregman at first, batting leadoff, Tim Anderson, batting second, playing second, Casey Schmidt, batting third, playing, or batting third, playing third. Ronald Acuna plays left and is the left fielder. Max Wagner bats fifth, is the DH. Bubba Thompson out in right, bat sixth, PCA, bat seventh in center, Dansby Swanson, your shortstop, batting eighth, Andrew Romo does the catching and bats ninth. On the other side, Mike Antico will bat leadoff and play center field, Yandy Diaz. Somebody we looked at in the offseason, bats second, plays first. Jordan Walker bats third, plays right. Nolan Gorman does the cleanup hitting at third. Juan Yepes, DH bats fifth. Lars Nupar out in left, bat sixth. Danny Jansen bats seventh, does the catching. Alexis Gall Gavilan is the shortstop, batting eighth. Brooks Lee is the number nine hitter, playing second base. Tink Hentz, 12 and 9 last year with a 3 3 2, opposes Corbin Burns, who was 8 and 10 with a 4 4 2 with Milwaukee a year go so we are ready to go let's play the game or let the ai play the game bregman will lead off here against hence i think we played uh, st louis last year too on opening day maybe we played cincinnati i don't remember 2-2 two -two to bregman hits him and they have taken him out of the ball game so he gets hit in the first at bat of the year wonderful tim anderson let's see what ta7 does in his first at bat as a cub Lines a double to left. All right, well, Bregman didn't get hurt. That would have worked out perfectly. Uh, and a walk and a, and a double. So two in scoring position with nobody out for Casey Schmidt. He strikes out. Acuna. Oh, am I not going to score? Oh, no. Come on, Max. And I don't score. Oh, no. That's an inauspicious start to the season. Corbin Burns against Antico. There's a strikeout. Diaz with a double to right. Walker strikes out and Nolan Gorman strikes out. So Burns strikes out the side in the first. Bubba Thompson. Down ball to the third baseman. One away. CA now. Base hit to right for Crow Armstrong. A one-out single. That'll bring up Dansby. Looper to right. Catch is made. Jeromo now, the number nine hitter. Down ball to first, and we strand the runner. Juan Yepes. Down ball in front of the plate. Two, three, put out. New bar. Strikes out looking, and Danny Jansen with a single right. 
two outs for Gal Gavilan. Gavilan to first, and that retires. Inside. Look at this guy down at the bottom. He's got a flat head. All right, we go to the third. No score. Tommy White loops it to center. He's in for Bregman. That's one away. So Anderson. He strikes out. And Schmidt. He strikes out. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. Brooks Lee. Ground ball too short. One out. Top of the order. And in Tico. He'll ground out to the right side. And Diaz. Right, that'll be a fly out to the right fielder. So three up, three down in the third, no score. Acuna leans off here in the fourth. And that's a fly out to left. Wagner over two with a couple of K's and Bubba Thompson. So Tink Hentz and Corbin Burns going toe to toe here so far in the fourth inning. Just as I say that, lead off single. Walker steals on Drew Romo. Interesting. There's a strikeout. Lopez with a base hit. And St. Louis going to take a lead? Yes, they are. Oh, oh, oh. Is it they're going to beat him? Nope. So we're down one nothing. Loop bar fly to right. Diving catch by Bubba Thompson. Danny Jansen strikes out. So Burns gives up a run in the fourth. We're down one to nothing here going to the fifth. CA with an infield single leading off the fifth inning. Dansby now. Carl Armstrong steals second. So now we have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. Through to the right side. 3 1 put out. So runner at third now with two outs for White. And it looks like he's going to strike out. Does so we strand our third runner in scoring position here in this one? Gavilan to third, one down. Brooks Lee, fly ball to center, lands in front of PCA. That's the fifth hit of the game for them. And Tico's hit by the pitch, so they get two on with one out for Diaz in front of the plate. Throw down to second. Okay, so runners at the corners with two out, and Swanson's hurt. Wonderful. Who do I have playing? <laughs> uh, of course. Because I don't have his backup second baseman. Payoff pitch to Walker. Ball four. Payoff pitch to Gorman. I don't know what that was. It was a three, a three unassisted put out. All right. So we have RJ Mayer playing second base for us here on opening day because that's how out of the park works. Anderson grounds out six to three. Schmidt, two away, and Acuna. Offense struggling here. The first two base runners of the game on couldn't get him in, and that's been it so far. Lopez drove in the only run of the game. Here he grounds out to third. Fly ball to left. That'll get down for a single. with a fly ball to left. That catch is made. Two away now for Gallivan. And he strikes out. All right, so in the seventh, we still don't have a run. Wagner out there against Hentz, who's still going. Strikes him out again. Bubba Thompson. Two away. PCA is the only one getting anything done. He's got three hits. R.J. Mayer coming in for his Major League debut at the plate. And he flies out to left. Thought that was going to get down for a second. We go to the stretch. Still one nothing. Clark Schmidt out there now. It's six innings of one run, six hit ball from Burns. There's a one away. Down ball the first, two away. And Andy Diaz now. The third. So far, Mayer hasn't had to field the ball, thankfully. 
We go to the eighth, still down by a run. Romo leads off. Three-one pitch is a ground out to the second baseman. White strikes out again. And Anderson, man, we struck out a bunch. Two out walk for Casey. And he strikes out. We must have struck out 12, 13 times so far today. Bottom of the eighth. Jordan Walker leads off for the Cardinals. Rounds it to third. One out. Gorman now. Strikes out. And Yepes. Fly ball to left. There's a two out single for one Yepes. Newt Bar, he goes the other way. So two singles here in the eighth. And Danny Jansen, Casey Schmidt, or uh, Schmidt strikes him out. So we go to the ninth against Franklin at DaCosta. It'll be Acuna, Wagner, and Thompson, the lefty. Base Acuna. Ronald grounds out three unassisted. Wagner 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Here he flies out to left for the second out of the inning, and it's going to come down to Bubba Thompson. Bubba hits it out to center, but that's going to stay in the park, and we get shut out one to nothing on opening day. That's disappointing. Wastes a really good performance by Corbin Burns on opening day. Both of these guys are diagnosed as pending. That's not a good thing. Okay, so Bregman's fine. So you want one of my best players. I don't understand this game. Because I offered up... Let's try that. Because I had offered that deal up and the game seemed to like it. So player development. Uh, anybody important? Shores gets a little better. His development is slow, but it's it's coming along. Boston Kellner. His development is slow, but it's coming along. Alan Chu, this one's for you, Josh. He didn't pitch once last year. What are his ratings? Have they changed at all? I mean, do we force it? I mean, just for S's and G's, so to speak. So let's force roll. Let's just make him a starter. Let's just see what happens with the development. Uh, top 100 prospects. No Cubs on there. Uh, where is our minor league system right now? Ninth. Necker's 11th. Hawkins is 40th. Catano is 41st. Okay. All right. So... Uh, Bregman's fine. We're waiting on the diagnosis to Swanson, which means I think right away Mikey Romero has to come back up. He's day to day with a strained hamstring. I really don't want to push that right off the bat. I'm not going to. So we're going to put him on the injured list. And I think we call up Corona. All right. So I'm going to sim to the middle of May, right? Yeah, I'm going to send to the middle of May and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest of May and June. So I will be right back. All right. It's the middle of May and we're in a dog fight. Look, Milwaukee Brewers, 24 and 17 lead the National League Central. We are a half game behind them. Cardinals, two games out. The Reds, two and a half and the Pirates are seven and a half. Uh, it's... It's been up and down, um, being carried as expected by our bullpen, which is sporting a 2.36 ERA so far this year. Defensively, we've been slightly below average. Uh, we're second in runs against because of our bullpen. Our starters have been just okay. So has been really bad. Uh, and I think his, yeah, his arm number jumps up next year, so that'll be something we need to consider. Burns has been up and down. Had a really bad start his last time up. But his four previous starts were on well, this one. He got pulled early uh, for some reason. But um, three out of his last four starts have been pretty good. 
Um, but Brash, Paddock, and Contreras have all been quite good. Offensively, we are fifth in home runs, but we're only ninth in runs scored. Um, Tim Anderson is leading us in home runs and RBIs through the middle of May. Um, so far, that contract looks good. Oh, and he ended up he's ended up at shortstop because we lost Dansby Swanson for three months. He's still out for another seven weeks. We I remember on well, remember because for you guys it was ninety seconds ago, but uh, we lost him for three months on opening day. Uh, still got him for another three seasons. Um, so yeah, let's just quickly look at the stats and and we'll we'll kind of just go from there. So offensively. Uh, TA7 leads us in war. Um, again, 331, 891 OPS. Acuna, uh, 934 OPS, 400 BABIP. It's obviously not going to obviously not gonna maintain. PCA is having a good year with the bat. Continues to get better. Casey Schmidt started off struggling, but he's hit, uh, been hit the, hitting the ball well lately. Same thing with Bregman. Um, 446 slugging. He's doing pretty well at the leadoff spot. RJ Mayer, only 9 for 32, but a 761 OPS. Danny Corona, who we called up to play second base once we moved Anderson to short, uh, has been hitting the ball really well, but he's atrocious defensively, which is why his war is where it is, and that's why we just called up Mikey Romero. Uh, We're probably going to start playing him at second more and more often and then moving Corona around the infield primarily at first and third. In fact, you know what? Let's just do this now. Um, let's do that. Let's bat Romero there. We'll have Corona come in, play every third game. Corona will back up here as well. Every fifth game, every third game, and then he can back up at DH every fourth game. So he'll play three days a week. And then same thing against, well, what do Romero's ratings look like against lefty? I mean, he can hit lefties too. He does. He has literal no splits, but he's just so much better defensively than Corona is that I think that's important right now. And we'll do that. Uh, Corona every seventh game, uh, every third game, and then every fourth game. There, yeah, that'll work. Um, from a pitching perspective, you talked, I already mentioned that we're being carried by our, our bullpen right now. Although war wise, it's our three top starters are all kind of pitching really well, but, uh, Vinicio is pitching really well, six hits and 13 innings, 25 strikeouts. He hasn't allowed an earned run. I uh, talked about burns a little bit. Uh, Eduardo Nunez's FIP is 0.83, uh, 250 ERA plus. Clark Schmidt, a 304 ERA plus. Brian Abreu, 264. Shavili, 160. Mitch White, 224. Yeah, really, everybody except for Wisniewski and Carson Coleman have pitched well. And Wisniewski is going to be expensive next year. So I know there are some Cubs fans watching this, but this could be the swan song for Mr. Wisniewski as we will need to free up some money to sign some of our players to arbitration. Um, or sign them prior to arbitration. So let's let's get to Simmon here. We got we're in Pittsburgh for three. We're half a game out of first place. Uh, we're now a game out of first place as we just lose seven to one. Brown gets hurt again, so we'll just stick him on the sixty day. I don't like losing two games in a row. Game out of first place in the wild card lead. Two more games before we go to I think that's New York. 23 and 18, 24 and 18 as we move back into a tie for first place. Tim Anderson, three hits, three RBIs. Corona, two more hits, two more runs knocked in. Yeah, I mean, he's hitting the ball so well, but he's terrible defensively. Schmidt gets the win. Vinicio, the save. We look to take the series against Pittsburgh. Just win series. That's what we look to do, right? Just win series. We, uh, game doesn't get played. All right. No, we lost. We lost 8-2. to two. Pitch. Is that so again? He's been terrible. What do I do about this? Do I have a pitcher in AAA that can come up? How's Foster Griffin doing in AAA? Not bad. What about Drew Gray? Nope. I think... And I think he's hurting us that badly right now that we bring in a new pitcher. All right, so we got New York. Again, I think this is the Yankees. 
hopefully we can win. We'll look at a uh, we'll look at a box score and we'll be able to tell. As the we lose twenty four to we lose twenty four to twenty we lose four to one to the Yankees to drop to twenty four and twenty. We win. Milwaukee wins, and we score a run in the ninth. Bubba Thompson, three for four, three RBIs. Contreras goes five and two thirds. Our bullpen gave up some runs, which is not something our bullpen does a lot of. All right, so it's Serna against Corbin Burns and his 5.32 ERA. I don't like that, and it's gone up. We win, but uh, Corbin Burns sporting an ERA of six at the end of May here. Casey Schmidt, four for five, has that average over 300. Acuna, two for four, three RBIs. RJ Mayer, two for two with three runs knocked in, including his, uh, including a home run and a double. Homers in the seventh, doubles in the ninth. Burns gives up six. Wisniewski gets the win. Schmidt and Vinicio do their thing. And now we've got Oakland still tied with Milwaukee. Every game we win, Milwaukee wins too. When we lose, they lose. We win here 19 to nothing. Tim Anderson, three for six, five RBIs. Ronald Acuna, three for six, five RBIs. Schmidt, two for four. PCA, three hits, three runs scored. Bubba Thompson, three RBIs. Mikey Romero with his first big league home run. Scores three runs. We hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight home runs in this game. Rash goes six, gets the win. Oof. Hopefully we didn't uh, score our our weekly our weekly uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for number of runs in in one game. See what happens in game two. That's another win, nine to eight this time. Foster Griffin doesn't pitch well, but we win again. Bregman has that average up to two seventy one. Three hits, two RBIs. Bubba Thompson another three for four game. Bregman a home run. Griffin gives up five. Nicio blows his third save in a week. Lead is up to two now. And then we lose that one. So I kept, I, I, and, and it looks like Cincinnati split, uh, swept a double header. So the lead goes from two games to half a game. And now we're in second place. And we lose Mitch White for five weeks. That was not a good transaction right there. Uh, Edwards pitching well in AAA. So I think we'll give him a call up. Stick him in middle relief. Back-to-back losses. We're tied for first with the card. Look at this division. Four teams separated by game and a half. There's a win. Bumps us back into first place. Casey Schmidt with a three-run homer. Wagner drives in a couple. Mikey Romero has two hits. PCA out of the leadoff spot has a couple hits. Burns doesn't pitch particularly well. Four runs and seven, I guess, isn't bad. Strikes out eight, gets the win. <sighs> All right. Wagner's not hitting. So what do we do about that? I think we do this. The lefty out there against righties. All right, Zerpa now. The half game lead over Cincinnati. We win 4 0. Is that a Matt Brash start? It was five and a third. One hit ball for Brash. Coleman gets the win. Shavili the save. RJ two hits. Tim Anderson three out of three for four. Casey Schmidt and Bubba Thompson homer. Look for the sweep of Arizona. No, not the sweep. We lost the first game of the series. So we split the series with Arizona. We have a half game lead now. And we will kick over into June. Yeah, we got a battle here. Offense is getting better. We're up to seventh. The starters are not good. We we need to figure out our starting pitching situation here. As uh, well, not really all of our starting pitching, just some of our starting pitching. Shavili gets a little worse. Romo's contact gets better. Mikey Romero looks like he gets a little. How's he doing? 225. That's not good. How's he doing defensively? 
Not great. Super. Uh, um, of course. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Cool. Uber frustrating. AL hitter of the month is Judge. In the NL, it's Tim Anderson. Pitcher of the month in the AL, Joe Musgrove. In the NL, Hunter Green. Rookie of the month, Kurt Castleberry. And in the NL, Dylan Cup for Cincinnati. All right. What do we got on the on the uh, trade block? Anything in terms of starting pitching? Martin Perez. He hasn't been great, but he's cheap, and he probably would be a better solution than what we're throwing out there now. Lex's not really a starter. Canning, Luis Sessa, no. Is he mice? He's making a lot of money. I don't want to pick up somebody who's making 15. So done in AAA since we sent him down. He's pitched two good games. All right, let's see if that two week uh, that two week run in AAA did anything for him. And let's keep going. We're half game up on the Reds. We're taking on Toronto. We win seven to three. Five run third inning. Bubba Thompson three for four. Corona four four for five in this one. Wagner has two hits, two RBIs. Run for Bubba. Paddock goes five. Game two now. Another win, nine to three. Was it Efren Contreras on the mound? We'll look in a minute. But Bregman goes two for four, three RBIs. Anderson two for five with three RBIs. Schmidt drives in a couple. Acuna has three hits. Yep, Contreras strikes, walks six, but strikes out five, gets the win. Sweep over Toronto. And we get it. And that's important with Cincinnati coming to town. Bubba Thompson, two for four, three RBIs. PCA, two for three with three RBIs. Cunha has two hits. Sees that average up over 300 now. Schmidt's back up to 300. Corbin Burns gets the win. He's pitched a couple of good games in a row. And now we got Cincinnati in the Cincinnati. It's a two and a half game lead. Uh, let's see where we are in the division when this series is over. We win game one, nine to seven. Bregman, Anderson, Schmidt, Wagner, all of two hits. Mikey Romero, three for four. Drew Romo goes four for four. Schmidt and Wagner each homer. Brash pitches well. Edwards, we just called up. He's doing okay. Wisneski continues to get hard, hit hard. And ECO gets the win, and we are three and a half up. Three and a half up. Let's see how the second game goes. Ten to five loss. Game three. I was with So on the mound, too. We win eight to one. So So gets hit hard again. We may need to do something about that uh, that three spot in our rotation right now as So is not pitching good baseball. Bregman, two for five, three RBIs. Corona has a couple runs knocked in. Romo, two more RBIs. Bregman homers twice. Haddock goes seven. We look for three out of four against Hunter Green and the Reds in Cincinnati. We get three out of four? We can't. So we split the series in Cincinnati, and now we're taking on the Red Sox at home. Game one, it's a four to one win. Was that another solid Corbin Burns outing? Was six innings, nine strikeouts for Corbin. So that's three good outings in a row, three wins in a row. Bubba Thompson and PCA homer. Bubba Thompson showing some power this year, guys. On pace for a 35 home run season. Why is he only putting up three war? That's weird. All right, game two. We got Brash on the mound. 
another win, 2-1 to one in 10 innings. Casey Schmidt looks like he hits his 11th home run. He does. Rash goes 6, Schmidt. Benicio blows the save but gets the win. And we look for the sweep over the Red Sox with So on the mound. Let's see what Young Jun can do here. He wins 3-0, so So battles back. That's what we like to see. Six shutout innings for So. Let's go. Shavili gets the save. Romo 3 for 3. Yeah, if Drew can hit 240... I mean, if he, can, if he can just replicate last year, he's an incredibly valuable player for us with that defense. So, don't mind paying a little bit. All right. Three versus Seattle now at home. George Kirby, 9 and 2, 301 ERA. And we beat him 5 to 3. Paddock again. I was talking about trading Chris Paddock. I'm glad I didn't. Anderson has his average up to 348 this year. Drives in three. Paddock goes six and a third, gives up one run. Musgrove against Contreras here. Looking for our 40th win of the year. We don't get it. Brown suffers a setback. Burns on the mound again today against Jack Flaherty. We went 4-1. to one, So another good Corbin Burns start. That's four in a row. Corona and... Nope, Corona hits his sixth home run of the year. Regman two hits in an RBI. Corbin Burns goes eight, gives up one earned run. So he's bounced back. He's pitched really well. He has pitched really, really well over the last month. A couple of games against the Indians now. Against an 0-5, 6.70 ERA pitcher, which means we're likely to lose this game because OOTP. There you go. And now Zach Kent faces us with a three-game lead over, and we lose again. So we lost both games to the Indians there against two pitchers that were combined like 6-14 and 14 or something like that. All right, so we're taking on the Brewers. They've slipped a little bit. They're six and a half game out. Six and a half games out, rather. We'll send Paddock to the mound in game one. We've lost two straight. We win 6-2. to two. Paddock picks up his eighth. Schmidt, Acuna, Corona, Thompson, all with two hits. Paddock goes seven and a third. Game two with Contreras on the mound. There's another win, a four to one. Efren Contreras, guys, huge under the radar pickup for us. Mikey Romero, one for three, drives in three runs with a bases clearing triple. Contreras goes six, strikes out five. There's 110 pitches, but still gets it done. Game three, Corbin Burns against his former team. 7-5 loss. That's his worst outing in weeks. Yeah, four runs and six innings. That's his worst outing in a while against his former club. All right. At home against Colorado now as we look to finish the month of June strong. We win 6-3 to three there. PCA 2-4, for four, three RBIs. Bregman with two hits. Yeah, Bregman at 280 is incredibly valuable. Bregman at 234 is fine, but Bregman at 280 is incredibly valuable. Brash goes five shutout. We get So on the mound. Let's see how he does here. Let's see if that ERA drops. Drops a tiny bit. Drops a tiny bit, but he keeps us in the game long enough for us to get the win. Four runs and five innings. Not great. It keeps us in the game long enough. Our bullpen does what our bullpen does. Cunha homers, Anderson with three hits. All right. Let's see if we can get the sweep over the Rockies at home. We do. We went four to two. Bubba Thompson, two for four. Mikey Romero, two hits, two RBIs. Paddock goes six, picks up his ninth win. His ERA is sub three now. An off day before we take on the White Sox. Robbie Ray facing Efren Contreras in game one of the Crosstown Classic goes to the White Sox. They beat us 8-6. All right, Mitch White, I'm on a rehab assignment. We get Swanson back in a week. Game two, as Daniel Espino against Corbin Burns. 
and six to four and eleven. I got Kyle Tucker. Romo, is that a home run for Drew? No, it is not. It's a two-run double. And then RBIs for Bregman, Anderson, Schmidt, and Acuna. Burns goes eight. Goes eight. I think strikes out nine. And ECO blows the save, but gets the win. An unearned run. So we look to take the series from the White Sox. They'll send Huskar and Yoa to the mound. We'll send Matt Brash to the bump. Take two out of three from the White Sox. Uh, Bubba Thompson, three hits, four RBIs. PCA, two hits, four RBIs. Mikey Romero with three hits. Drew Romo with a three-run homer. The bottom of the order getting it done for us. Brash goes five, gets the win. And we got Washington to finish up the month of June. How are the Nationals? 34 and 44. So I say we lose three out of four in Washington. It's just the pessimist in me. Here's a 6 nothing loss. Chris Paddock. There's another loss. Game 3, Efren Contreras. We are going to play the series. I will play that fourth game into, into July. Because I just want to see if my losing 3 out of 4 comes to uh, fruition. We did win there. All right. So we'll look at player development and all that stuff after we sim the uh, July 1st game. So Bregman, two for four, three knocked in. Anderson, three hits. Wagner, four for five with four RBIs. Corona, Romo each have two hits. Contreras doesn't pitch well, but we get the win anyway. And let's sim July 1st to see if we win two out of four or lose three out of four. Okay. All right, and we get Swanson back. So you guys, we can make our make our, our Dansby Swanson move there. So we lost first two games of the series, won the final game of the series. And it's hard to send down Mikey Romero, right? I mean, he's been hit, he's been on a hot streak as of late. Five, six, eight hits in his last four games. Corbin Burns gets the win. So who do we send down to the minors? Looks like it's Corona. The hitting is stopped. Hitting is stopped. We'll call up Dansby. We will get our lineup set back the way we had it before. A little bit of that. We'll move Swanson down in the lineup. What position am I missing now? DH. DH against lefties. Or against righties. I think we leave it as Mikey Romero. He's kind of a slap hit. We don't really have a power guy in there to, to come in and 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 be that be that guy, but uh, Dansby at short, Tim Anderson at second. Move him down. It really wants to start RJ Mayer every second game in center field, huh? Sorry, my guy, can't allow that to happen. Uh, backup first baseman is Wagner. Romero is your backup second baseman once a week. Uh, so offensively, Tim Anderson is having just a career season. 126 OPS plus, put up almost three war already. Bregman's been really good. Our offense has been fantastic. Our offense has been fantastic so far. Uh, Hunt and Poisson are really the only two that aren't hitting. Um, but Poisson's there for his defense. And any sort of power he can give us is a plus. And we may end up sending him down before it's all said and done. Pitching-wise... Uh, we need to figure out what we're doing with So. He's been terrible. He had that one good outing here that kind of gave you a little bit of hope, uh, but he's been terrible. So that's going to be an early July thing for us as we try to sort out what we're doing with that uh, that that third spot in our rotation. But other than that, our pitching staff has been tremendous, uh, top to bottom. Uh, we probably move on from Abreu after this season. Uh, oh, no, that's right. We have him locked up for a couple of years. I forgot about that. Was Nesky we probably move on from because his contract gets expensive? There are a couple players that we're going to have to move on from, but that's, again, that's a problem for the future. We do have money to add to this year's uh, roster, so we will see about adding uh, adding in our next episode. Our next episode will be July. So that's going to do it, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts on how things are going. How many games do we win this year? We're 49-32. and 32. 
uh, exactly halfway through the season, right? That's 81 games. So we're 81 games through the season. We're 49 and 32. Do we win 100? We got to go 51 and what, 29? 51 and 29 over the final 51 and 30? 51 and 30 over the last uh, 81 games. So can we go 51 and 30 over the last uh, 81 games and and find end up uh, at that 100 win mark? Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.